everyone. I'm with Alberta Slow from Budaberg today. Nice to be here. Thank you. Nice to be here. Alberta, we were talking about um, awards this month, and uh, it's all very exciting. I know Budaberg is it Budaberg or Paderberg? Well, uh, it, it depends on uh, what your background is. So we Afrikaans people talk about Paderberg, but I think pronouncing it as Paderberg is, is not uh, incorrect. Fantastic. I think it's just a way of saying it. Okay, because whatever your mother tongue is then. Yes, it yes, really suits you. Tell me, um, you've, we've got these awards in front of us. Can you tell me a little bit more about them and, and how the development of Paderberg has been from Wow, 1941, that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah I think we, we started uh, way back in 1941 uh, and uh, we've got 70 years, over 70 years of really great heritage. Uh, and I think, you know, wines, uh, talking about awards, we've really built over the years and lately, especially our dry land collection reigns have really come to its own. Uh, we've won numerous awards, uh, including some of them uh, the top award at the top producer at Michelangelo is really great for us. Um, just showing consistency over a lot of wines. Um, then there's other awards like uh, the Decanter Awards International Trophy for Chenin Blanc that we're really proud of uh, being a really South African cultivar, actually the most planted cultivar in South Africa. It's so wow. great that it can do so well internationally. And if you talk about plantings, do you mean, because I see but unirrigated and trellised, untrellised? Yeah, I think that is our uniqueness and I think that makes Palabach really unique with our soil, obviously, and our microclimate. Uh, but I think that is a, a really key uh, thing of making our wines and, and just uh, giving the definition in our wines. Is Why our, does that mean? Because the berries are more stressed? Or? Yes, I think that the, the, the unirrigated wines, the dryland wines, that's the, the range referring oh, to. Dryland okay. is the unirrigated uh, vineyards, and then you get the natural balance in the vines, giving these small berries, good concentration, good color, um, and also untrellised. I think uh, that the bush wine is, is really part of the history of the, the, the wine industry. Generations yes, almost. Yes. I must say I love the label, it's beautiful. Are you, have you changed your look a lot over the years? Yes, I think we've, we've changed our look. Our company has, uh, has changed a lot over the years. Uh, our look has also changed uh, to be more modern but still giving the heritage of what we are and and, uh, and I think especially this dry land collection range is what we are about. It's unirrigated vineyards giving good intensity these small berries. Good. I actually wanted to ask you lastly, what tell me about the zebra. Yeah, the zebra is uh, actually where our name originated. Um, many way back when the Dutch came to the Cape they saw these uh, wild horses, what they call them, um, running around the mountain here, yeah, and that's where the name Paderbach actually came from it, but actually wasn't a horse, it was a Cape Mountain Zebra. Oh. And uh, we are also involved in the Cape Mountain Zebra uh, conservation. conservation project, uh, just giving back to, to, to the conservation and to our nature. Well, cheers to Paderbach. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, yeah, we are at Paderbach and we're having a lovely time. We're testing some wine for our wedding and if you're ever in this area, don't pass it. It's lovely. Cheers. <laughs>